variety Oscar was on the 20th of April on a plot A of 3,100 square meters. The second transplant of 20,200 plants was on the 20th of June in three plots B, C, D of approximately 3,000 square meters each for a total of 9,750 square meters. To check the evolution of the pathology, the last cropping phases were examined in 2005 and the whole cropping cycle in 2006. As well as collecting samples of water, soil and plant materials, the crops were monitored bi-weekly until the end of August. At each inspection, the number of fruits on the plant, plus those deteriorated, were counted on 20 specimen plants per sector. The plants treated with Bioaxta transplanted in April, plot A, had 34% of fruits not marketable. It should be taken into account that the adverse weather conditions, similar to those of summer 2003, and the consequent physiological weakening of the plant would have represented a disease level of 55 to 60 percent. On the plants transplanted in June, plots B, C and D, the number of fruits affected had reduced to 12 percent, whereas in the preceding years it had been 30 to 35 percent. Plum tomato production was 3.3 kilograms per plant, against an average of 2.6 kilograms in the three previous years, with a yield increase of 26.9%. The annual average discard percentage had reduced from 45 to 23%. Overall, it can be claimed that the use of Bioaxta with the specific potentiator for soil decontamination has been highly efficient in controlling blossom end rot on plum tomato because by increasing the plant defenses, the damage reduces by 40 to 70 percent. In 2005, with Protocol 14, AXM31 examined the case of the Scandala Riccardo ed Emiliano farm based at Velese di Opeano, Verona, who were looking to increase production on their Isola della Scala unit, the soils of which were infested with gall-forming nematodes, genera Meloidogene. This producer of the most important brand of tomatoes on the vine in northern Italy had been looking for a solution to the problem for some time, but no longer wanted to use sterilizations with fumigants, in particular of methyl bromide, because they were becoming increasingly less effective. The main aim was to recreate a condition of lasting equilibrium, first by preventing the uncontrolled proliferation of the pathogens and stabilizing the microbial count in the soil, then optimizing the fertility conditions necessary to achieve high quality quantitative yields. The nematodes appear as small whitish galls of one to two millimeters on some roots that can grow to two centimeters and more to then propagate over the whole root apparatus and block its nutrient uptake. The growth and defense system of the plant decrease, with a reduced harvest in terms of both weight and quality. In many cases, the plant dries up completely. This process first appears in a few patches of the crop, then the infection expands to whole tunnels. This process occurs over a period of time that can vary from a few days to some weeks, depending on numerous factors, including soil composition, resistance to the pathogen of the cultivated varieties, cropping techniques and weather pattern.
the farm had carried out periodic soil sterilization operations in 1996, the first year the nematodes appeared, and again in 2000 and 2003, but the persistence of the nematocide action had reduced. Sterilization eliminates the pathogenic microorganisms, but not those resistant. Furthermore, eliminating also the beneficial microorganisms makes the soil asphyxial and unlivable for the plant. Greatest damage was recorded in 2003, a year with particularly high temperatures, in which tomato production was the lowest ever recorded. In particular, it barely reached 2.5 tons per hectare in Sector 1. bio was introduced in spring 2004 and from 2005 bio M31 potentiator specific for soil decontamination was also used. Following the results obtained, these operations were extended to the whole farm in 2006. Tomato cultivation involves a total surface area of 7.2 hectares of greenhouses, divided into four production sectors. The first transplant of Secolo tomatoes in a heated greenhouse was characterized by perfect fruit set, regular shaped truss, good fruit size and excellent fruit color on all trusses. Average production per plant at the end of the cycle was 4.8 kilograms per plant and 730 grams per truss against 2.5 kilograms per plant and 460 grams per truss in the previous year. No nematode damage was found. The second transplanting of Secolo and Dorinta tomatoes was in the sectors at the first year of treatment with Bioaxta. The first crop growth stages were free of any problem, despite the high temperatures. The damage from nematodes was 50% less than the previous year, and despite the presence of easily seen galls on the root apparatus, production was excellent on all trusses. Average yield was 4.5 kilograms per plant and 746 grams per truss, against the 4.2 kilograms per plant and 610 grams per truss of the previous year. The following lettuce crop, transplanted in September and treated with BioAxta, was excellent in terms of production, quality, homogeneity and plant health, with no nematode galls. This demonstrates that the re-equilibrating action of BioAxta keeps the pathogen below the threshold of aggression without penalizing any type of crop. The third cycle of Secolo tomatoes, transplanted on the 30th of July 2006, had no damage from nematodes, and although postponed by 10 days and with adverse weather conditions, the yield was the same as in the previous year. From 2005, when BioAxta was used in just one sector, to 2006, when it was extended to all sectors, the increase was 27.4% for average weight per truss and 26.5% in terms of kilograms per plant, when in the whole area the production decreased by 20%. The incidence of the pathogen on the tomato crop, Secolo variety, was even lower in 2007 than in 2006. Particularly in Sector 1, at the third year of treatment, no galls were found on either the March or July transplanting. Considerable improvements were observed. An increase in sugar concentration from 5 degrees to 6 degrees bricks, a reduction in fruit splitting, a 15% increase in the lycopene content and improved plant defense against bacterial and fungal diseases.